Hey, how's it going everyone? Just back in with another sequence video. This one is an Enoch um, spanning from chapter three to five. And so uh, it has a little bit of coded language, but it's absolutely incredible because it links up as well with um, the other um, parts of the Bible, which is not a surprise at this point for me. Enoch chapter three, uh, verse one, observe and see how in the winter all the trees seem as though they had withered and shed all their leaves. And so that's a coded reference to Matthew 24, 20. But pray that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. And if you add 24 plus 20, you get 44. And so that's a coded reference to when Christ will return. And, um, you know, that's also stated here. There's another code reference to his elect here. Verse 2, except 14 trees which do not lose their foliage, but retain the old foliage from two to three years until the new comes. And so this is a coded reference to Christ returning with his elect three and a half years later. Um, a great company shall return thither in Jeremiah 31, 8. And this number 14 pops up again in 1 Thessalonians 5, 9. If you add 5 plus 9, that's 14. For God hath not appointed us to wrath. Who's us? Okay, it's God's elect, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. And so that's um, the coded language, you know, that's here in Enoch. And so um, Enoch 4, 1. And again, observe you the days of summer and how the sun is above the earth over against it. And so this is the sun, S-U-N here, but this is the sun above the earth, the S-O-N. Um over against it and listen to this and you sh and you seek shade and shelter by reason of the heat of the sun and so this is um, god's elect taking shelter you know in god and so being saved listen to this and the earth also burns with growing heat and you cannot tread on the earth or on a rock by reason of its heat so this is now the time of the plagues you know and where one of them is going to be a heat wave and then ultimately america being destroyed but now after the elector say then the earth is going to be start start to experience um wrath you know again consistent with first thessalonians 5 9 uh, you know, chapter five, observe ye how the trees cover themselves with green leaves and bear fruit. For what reason give you heed uh, and know with regard to all his works and recognize how he that lives forever has made them so. OK, and all his works go on like this from year to year forever and all the tasks which they accomplished for him. So God's in control of everything, every water droplet, every leaf that's blowing in the air and all that kind of stuff. And their tasks change not, but according to God has ordained, so it is done. And behold, how the sea and the rivers in like manner accomplish and change not their tasks from his commandment. So if you read Revelation 16, God is then attacking the earth, the people itself, and then the earth itself, the water, um, you know, obviously using the sun to scorch people with heat and the trees is going to burn them um, and all that kind of stuff. OK, and so just know that, you know, and then the earth itself is going to actually be burned at the end, all of it. <clears throat> um, so it's all God's will. But ye have not been steadfast, nor done the commandments of the Lord, but have turned away and spoken proud and hard things with your impure mouths against his greatness. And so now this is the time of great tribulation for God's entire left-hand side. O ye hard-hearted will find no peace. Therefore will you execrate your days, and the years of your life will perish, and the years of your destruction will be multiplied in eternal execration, and you will find no mercy. So this is happening on earth. Your days, okay, will lead to eternal execration, and you will find no mercy. And so this is a permanent destruction, body and soul, according to Matthew 10, 28. In those days, you will make your names an eternal execration unto all the righteous. And by you will all who curse, curse, and all the sinners and godless will imprecate by you. And for you, the godless, there will, be, there will be a curse. And so it mentions here, eternal execration unto all the righteous. So this is Christ returning with his elect. And um, it's amazing how the Bible is consistent. And Enoch, of course. Um, and all the righteous will rejoice and there will be forgiveness of sins there will be salvation unto them, a goodly light. Okay, so now we have a reference to God returning with his elect, the ones who receive salvation. And for all of you sinners, there will be no salvation, but on you all will abide a curse, all. Okay, let me read that again, maybe that's a mistake. No, and for all of you there, sinners, there will be no salvation, but on you there all will abide a curse, all will abide a curse. Okay, that's in verse six. Verse seven, but for the elect, there will be light and joy and peace and they will inherit the earth. That's in verse seven, not by... Uh, random okay even in the this book the numerology is consistent it's incredible verse 8 and then there will be bestowed upon the elect wisdom and they will all live and never again sin so the bible says in other places that the law will be sown unto their inward part either through ungodliness or through pride but they who are wise will be humble and they will not again transgress nor will they sin all the days of their life nor will they die the divine anger or wrath Sorry, and nor will they die of divine anger or wrath. So they're not going to experience wrath. Again, consistent with 1 Thessalonians 5, 9. 
but they will complete the number of days of their life and their lives will be increased in peace and the years of their joy will be multiplied in eternal gladness and peace all the days of their life. And so, again, this follows the sequence perfectly. You know, we have Christ returning for his elect. Then we have a time of great tribulation. And then we have a time of Christ returning with his elect where the righteous are going to be destroying. And then we have a time of peace, you know, of the kingdom. So Enoch's off to a good start. Hope everyone's doing well. Bye.